Hey guys, it's U2 Technology, and I left you off right where we were about to export our plugin. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll be able to test it out. Um, let's go to File, Export, Jar File, Choose Broadcast from the List, check it off. Make sure everything inside is checked. Uh, the last three right here for the export options, you can leave those unchecked, but the first one checked. And then press and make sure the bottom ones are all checked. Uh, just kind of follow this format and then press finish. So now we're going to go to our plugins folder. And we're going to add a folder called broadcast. Okay. And then we're going to make a txt file which will hold all of our messages. So go ahead and open up your text edit file program. And we're going to write, this is our first message on the first line. And on the second line, we're going to say, this is our second message. And on our last line, which will be our third, but you can always change this. You can always add more lines if you want. This is our third and last message. Okay, so since you know that we implemented chat colors, we can do and E, which will make the word message yellow. And if we do and F after the word message, it'll make that period right there white. And for our third message, let's just make uh, third be green by using and A. And after third, we're going to write and F to make the rest of it white again. Let's go ahead and save that. And save it um, into your plugins folder, your broadcast folder within your plugins folder, and save it as messages.txt. So now let's go to our server, Oops. and we're going to go go ahead and cd into your server, and we're going to go ahead and launch it. Okay, as you can see, Broadcast 1.0 is now enabled, and right here, even in the log, you can see it's showing the messages. Let's go ahead and join the game. Okay. There you go. So as you can see, it is now reading off the messages that we typed in with chat colors. You can always add more in the coding if you feel like it and automatically repeats after the third line. Um, we can stop it. And if we try to stop it again, since the running is now equal to zero, it's going to tell us that it isn't running. So why are you trying to stop it? And if we do start broadcast, or start broadcast, it continues it uh, from where it last was. And if we do stop, or if we do start again, it's going to tell us that it's already running. Uh, so yeah, it's working and you can actually, you don't need to reload the plugin to do this, you can just add another line. Okay, here we go. So it's our second message and I have not reloaded the plugin, I've just saved the file and updated it and added another message. So this is our second message. This is our third and last message, and I just added one after that, which says this is actually our last message, so we'll see if that appears. Yep. So, there you go. And of course, if you go in here, uh, you can see it in the log. Uh, so you can see what's going on in-game and from, from the server log, and uh, you can also see it in-game. So... Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you had any issues, be sure to comment before you press the dislike button so I can help you out. Um, yeah. So this has been a GTO Technology video.